the developer gave me 10% off for you guys, let's check out Ran Tools. Alright guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing very well. I suppose you could consider this a paid promotion, the developer did give me a free copy to check out and basically give it a quick review, but he also gave me 10% off for the first 30 people to buy the add-on, there is an affiliation link down below if you want to check it out, and it's called Ran Tools for a reason, it's a bunch of random tools. Now, is it trying to be too much? I'm not entirely sure, but there is a lot to get through to be honest, and I think when you actually work it down it's something like 50 cents an add-on. And there is a whole bunch of really nice tools to be honest, so let's quickly just jump into Blender and we'll take a look at the add-on. If you check out the menu on the right hand side, check out what we've got. <sighs> Quite a lot to be honest, so I'll give you a quick overview. You have a lot of tools regarding backing up and saving assets, you have tools regarding camera, so you can do things like the render resolution, the shutter speed. There is some very nice additional extras there that I'll quickly go through. You can create cables, you have a bunch of random tools like import asset, create a modifier preset. So if you start to create like modifiers, you can create presets of these and then import them later on. Nice handy tool. You can change a face into a cloth, you can drop things, you have material tools, you have light tools, you have texture baking tools and you have P cutter which is like, I suppose it's a kind of equivalent of a poor man's box cutter. So let's quickly select the default cube and the first thing that I'm actually going to go to is I'm going to add in a backdrop. Now if I use the middle mouse, I can scroll through the different backdrops that comes with it. Very nice, let's pick something like, yeah, let's go with this. I can then middle mouse it again and you can see I control the bevel. Nice, basic tool. So I have my default cube, I have a background, so let's maybe add in a couple of lights. And I'll just use the middle mouse and you can see here there's a collection of different lights. If I drop the tool, I can move it up and down and I can change the intensity of the light. Pretty cool to be honest. Now the developer is constantly being in contact with me. He's updating it all the time. If it's a bug, he fixes it pretty darn quick to be honest. So when I spoke to the developer, he basically says, yeah, I'm just trying to make as many tools that I need as possible and hopefully other people will find them useful. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a cable. Why not? So let's create a cable. You can see here I can mouse over any face. I'll click this face and I'll just drag it to the background, cool. Then I can do something like this, not bad. Let's hit enter to commit and let's create another cable. Now there is a wire simulation, you can see here, simulate wire. That will essentially just run cloth and it will drop the wire. Just as another feature, you can also draw and create cables. So if we go to the draw cables here, we'll just do something very basic. And there we go, a nice basic cable. Let's quickly jump back into object mode and let's quickly check out a few of the other options. Now, there is a whole bunch when it comes to the camera options. Not really my thing, to be honest. Generally, what I'll do is I'll just quickly minimise it. Now, random tools is pretty much where it gets its name from. There is a whole bunch of random tools. So you can create assets, you can import, you can create modifiers like I mentioned earlier. You also have a nice mirror tool. One little tool that I find handy is you've got the snap tool and that'll snap it to the nearest point and you can actually assign a ground plane. So if you want to drop tools to a ground, perfect. Add lattice is quite good, that's a one click solution and that adds a lattice. Add non-destructive tube, no idea what that does. Taper, yeah, we can taper the box as well, very nice. Make instances real, circle array, hmm, let's try that. Nice. Very nice. Now personally I'm just finding out a lot of these tools, I only got the add-on a couple of days ago so I'm kind of like a kid in a sweetie shop. So there is a lot of stuff here to be honest. Set up materials, so you can set up PBR materials, I think you can assign a folder and it'll automatically hook everything up. Lights, you can see here it kind of creates a lighting group for you so you can change things like the intensity, stuff like this, the colour. Just everything makes it a little bit handier and it's a well written plugin. Doing the UI stuff, that's quite difficult to do so, so kudos to the developer. I get the impression when I'm speaking to him that four or five sales of this add-on is like a month's worth of rent, so if you want to help a developer out, now's probably a chance. The baking tools, I've personally not tried them, I would imagine they work to be honest. Now P cutter really is a kind of poor man's box cutter. Now this is available for $30 or you can buy the kind of lower version for $24. So you're getting, you're actually getting quite a lot for your money, so let's quickly check out P cutter. So let's quickly drop down a cube and let's check out P cutter. I think the shortcut for this is Shift and Q. I can do things like a draw a billion, stuff like this. And you get the idea. And that is pretty much RAN tools. It's had over 40 plus sales. The customer average rating is pretty high to be honest. There is demos, there is videos to kind of go along with everything. The documentation is very well written as well. It's been thought about, it's not one of these kind of cash grabs to be honest, it's, it's a good plugin. 
and it's worth the money, I think. And there is some stuff regarding bullying cleanups. Completely up to you whether you buy it or not. I do recommend it. Do me a favour, guys. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter. You know what to do. And all the links in the description down below. Take care.